hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to use search underscore read method and what is the purpose and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use read underscore group method please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under this home screen you can see odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial and right now we are working on this playlist by the way this is the main playlist of the odoo 17 and 18 all the topics covered here and rest remaining this playlist are the sub playlist of this main playlist okay so let's back to our main topic but before that uh, guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will give you the latest notification plus it's helped me a lot if you already know about the last few sessions we already discussed about the search method what is the purpose right and then after the read method here you can also have a like a basic idea about search why is the read method so basically search method returns record set and the read method returns the list of dictionary for that specific record right so here search underscore read method is the combination of both method only the difference is read method is depend on the record set right one if you have a record set and you call the read method automatically you will convert your record set into the list of dictionary format right but in this method you don't want to depend on the record set you can directly fire a query to the database so let's see how it will work so this is the main purpose of this search underscore read method and mainly this method is used while you are integrating different systems right apart from the odoo uh, using the xml rpc another thing is if you are trying to search data right you don't want to return the record set but you if you want to return the specific only fields and its value in a list of dictionary format i mean in the json format so this is the best method to use okay so let's see how it is work so for that like let me give you here one insight so this is our custom method once i click to this button we are trying to produce some output all right so let's say in the custom add-ons student models right so you can see here this is our custom method and last discussion was search oh sorry read underscore group method you can see this one and now uh, let's talk about first the search method parameter okay search read sorry so there are few parameters we have to use as usual so first one is the domain right you already know about the domain so this is the where clause of the sql query right over there you can directly use something like this select star from student where school underscore id is one so this where condition you have to pass here in the domain and uh, guys i already explained dedicated uh, one session about that specific topic how you can also use the join query right how you can use the simple query but different operators you can see here this one all the topics covered here in case you don't have an idea about all these 19 types of operators please my request is to watch this first and come back to this session so let's say this is the main domain then after the list of fields we have to use here for example let's say let's say you want to use uh, you want to return id name then after let's say student underscore id like only three fields not all the fields then you have to mention here list of fields which you want to return right after that here you can see offset the let's say you want to start searching based on the offset right then after the limit then after the order by like you want to order by your data ascending order descending order based on the specific field so you can mention here in the bracket here this and this one is the integer value you have to pass so for example limit is 100 but i want to start looking after like let's say existing record 101 right so this is specifically if you are using like if you are working with the 
multi record set so and on that specific time you can use this limit and offset and then after you can use like uh, some read arguments all right so for example let's say the load right the parameter like if you provide here the none so so what happen is it will in exclude the display name of the many to one field so we will check this part later but let's see one by one i hope you understood about these parameters right and yes you can see here we have a like predefined two print statement one is the custom static code and this is the current record set whichever we are trying to click that button okay so that record set automatically print now here uh, let's say stood obj self dot env wb dot student right or oh, let's say stood list stood obj dot search underscore read here let's i don't want to provide any domain also i don't want to provide any fields right you can use like this or you can use something like this as a blank that is also fine but if you remember in the list uh, sorry the search method the domain parameter required right but in this case you don't need to require anything by default it will take the default values so let me restart the service and here i will try to click to this button once i click you can see here all the records fetch from the database and it will convert into list of dictionary format so all fields means all the fields id whatsoever the fields available in that specific model it will return all the fields right here one more thing is you can see uh, let's say domain is something like this i want to pass but let's say i want to pass here id name school underscore id only these three fields i want to use so for that case like once i click to this button you can see here the first print statement it will return all the fields but here you can see this one id name and the school id this is the first record and then after it start with the second record and so on right whatsoever the number of records found it's automatically written like this format another and a very interesting thing is you can observe the many to one field many to one field by default it's using like this right in a tuple format the first parameter i mean the zero index is the id of the database which is the seven and the display name whatsoever the display name you are set it will automatically return here so that is the main point here guys you have to remember specifically to this load parameter let's uh, let me comment out this one and yeah by default if you observe so while while we are trying to call this read method right we must have a record set or else it it will automatically return the blank list so in this case to overcome that situation we are using the search underscore read method so there is a win-win situation let's say you have a record set right and just you have to translate your record set into the list of in, into the let's say json format right so in that case you can use the read method you don't need to use the search underscore read method that is the wrong way the thing is you already have a record set so simple you have to just convert into the json right so in that case you have to use the read method but let's say you don't have a record set and you still have to search into the database then just you can use search underscore read method to convert into the json map so both having a different purposes right read and search underscore read so i hope you understood about the main difference here when uh, you know which situation you have to use search and on a what situation you have to use the search underscore read if you are using here the search method and after the let's say search underscore read method it's better 
optimize your code you switch to the read method the main thing is it will not call to the like it will fetch from the cache memory right so i think it's it's better to use search with read method to get the json data or else directly use the search underscore read method all right so let's go ahead uh, let's say here so for example i'm trying to find out school underscore id greater than let's say five okay and yes the limit is four only once i click so you can see i'm, I'm trying i'm only get the four records abc school weblens and weblens2 record right and in case if i'm using here order school underscore id and in the descending order right then you can see here the result is also completely different so you can see here web weblens5 record weblens1 record like this so i hope you understood about this part and let's talk about the last parameter is the load now you can see here school underscore id which having a two parameters uh, sorry the tuple and tuple having the two values right so if we will using here the load equal to none now you can see the magic so this one you can see the first one is without load right you can see the tuple but without tuple now you only get the id so there is a some cases let's say you don't want to use uh, you don't want to get the display name of the one to uh, many to one field then directly you can pass here the load equal to none parameter and you will get result like this way okay so i hope you understood about this search underscore read method if you still have any doubt related to this method please comment below and see you in our next session